runners. Okay, the runners you can either make one piece or you can laminate them. Read the text. No big deal on the runners. The only thing you want to watch on the runners is that when you make, if you want to give accents and put different uh, colors in them, you can do that. Uh, <clears throat> there's a couple runners over here. I'm going to put That color is started in there. Okay. And I got them drilled also. Well, at least the front's drilled. The back isn't. And the reason for that is that I like, uh, I'm kind of finicky about the balance of my rockers. I've noticed over the years people like different balance in their rockers to fit their own personalities. Some like a real laid-back balance, like you can see a guy with a hand on a beer and laid back. Or somebody reading on an upright balance or in between. This is the accent material in, in here. On top of that, I put stand, pardon me, standoffs. They'll all rock about the same. They'll all rock within about that much of the back leg. That's all I do. They never get way back here. You see how they're curved? That's never used. The people think that you, you, you recurve it that way so it won't go over backwards. You never use that. It only balances about six inch portion right here on the back leg. That's it. That's where you rock. So I'll put a standoff in there, put a front dowel in it, leave the back dowel out and very carefully sit in the chair and feel the balance to it. And if it isn't what I want, I'll adjust either the front or the back to do that. So that's how I make my runners. Runners, laminated run runners, you can save a lot of material. You make them out of one piece, you'll use more wood. And they also won't be quite as strong. They'll be subject to cracking and have uh, the imperfections in the wood might surprise you, and you don't want surprises. Whereas a laminated one, if they do have imperfections, like here, that was in the wood, what I do is switch the wood, the laminations round back and forth. I don't keep the same. This is coming out because it's going to round over and it's going to disappear anyway. But if it's inside of the wood, you want to... Uh, just take your laminations and don't put them down the way you cut them off. Switch them back and forth. And it, uh, it heart, people won't even notice it.